Hey everyone, Nunu here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to try to show you guys how to use the parallel road mode tool to create a parallel road and basically a little bit more also. Okay, before starting today's video, please don't forget that I'm doing a giveaway on the channel for a 10 euro Steam gift card, so go check it out guys. Um, I'm also going to leave a link down below in the description if you wanted to go check it out for a faster way of getting there and a card right now on screen. So, this was probably the mod that I wanted to try out for a long time, but the first time I met the mod, the first time I tried it out, it was a bit confusing. It didn't have that much information, at least that I found out. Now there's a lot more information. But there are still a few things and a few points that I'm not entirely happy with the mod that I will eventually say out um, during, the, during this video. Uh, one of the biggest problems for me with this mod is the interface that in my point of view is not as intuitive as it should be. Of course that it has enough room for improvements and I'm pretty much sure that that's something they will probably try to do in the future updates. Now, the first thing to do is understanding what each part does and I'm going to show you guys how it how it works, okay? Alright, um, the good stuff about this mod is that you can also use it not only to create parallel roads but also to create it um, with quays, so you can use a parallel road with a quay, with a walking path, with, even with train tracks if you want to and a lot more stuff. But that's one of the reasons why there is a big problem uh, when it comes to the, um, to the mod is that it's n if you have too many types of roads and quays and, and, and walking paths, train, train tracks and stuff like that, it's kind of hard to get it all or to find it. So my suggestion is it should have some kind of search, search, uh, search bar. But anyways. Let me show you guys how you can do it or how you can use it. Okay guys, so let me show you guys how you can use the uh, parallel road tool. So the first thing you have to do is select, you have select roads and then you select what kind of road you want to do. Let's go to highways because that's one of the best examples I can give you guys. And let's select, select the two lane highway because each, each lane has its own direction as you guys can see, right? Okay, so how does it really work with the parallel road? Uh, after you select, after you select a road, there's this new icon over here called Parallel Road Tool. And to start it, all you have to do is click on here on the plus. It will create the same kind of road, so same as selected. So you get, as you guys can see, you get two lane highway uh, roads. Now you may want to turn on the snapping because this will eventually connect with some kind of node with another node that is already over here. Anyways, now one of the things that for me it's kind of more complicated on here on this on this mod is you don't know or it, there is no indication what uh, each input will do or what values are these for. So, let me just tell you guys that the first value is the distance between the roads, okay? So, if we go 16, as you guys can see, the roads are like this. If we go maybe to 30, as you guys will probably notice, the distance is bigger, okay? Alright, and what it means with this other one? The second input has to do with height, so how tall and how low it is. So let's imagine that we go maybe 10, so that's probably 10 meters distance. So as you guys will probably notice, maybe 10 is not enough. Maybe we have to place, let's say 30. Let's place 30 also. And let's just see how it works. Okay, as you guys can see, this one is way too high, or maybe it's too high, let's go with 20, probably 20 will look better. Yeah, it's a bit shorter. So, 
you also can use negative value so let's go minus 20 and what minus 20 will do let me go here is probably create like you guys can see one of them goes down okay let me just go to zero you also can do as you guys notice these are one way or uh, two lane one way roads uh, if you click here it will have a reverse road so let's just say that we're building like this and as you guys can see now one goes one way the other one goes the other way so that's basically it but the parallel road tool has its own big advantages is that you don't need to do the same kind of road you may want to try different kind of roads let's say with an eight lane road which is kind of interesting because let's be honest uh, we could go like this and let's see as you guys can see one goes one way then you have the other one you can defer it now this was one of the biggest problems or the second problem for this mod now the first one is not knowing what each of the values is there should be some kind of label that would allow you to understand I mean if you stop here you understand what it is but if you place your mouse over here there's no information uh, although you do have this um, kind of tutorial that kind of kind of explains you what it is you know horizontal distance between the network yeah now the, the most important feature that is lacking in here in my opinion is the possibility to search over here for different kind of uh, roads because Honestly, even if I press the keyboard, it doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't do anything. And in my example, as you guys can see, I have many, and I mean many, many roads. And not just roads, you could also do with floods. Look, you can do something like this, which is you can have some kind of flood channel around here, or, you, or flood wall in this case. You can also do with a quay, which by the way it's somewhere around here as you guys wait, 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 wait. you also can do a quay oh, you see now the problem is since you have so many and so many options in here it should have some kind of search option some kind of uh, way that you can search and of course um, improve your interface basically okay so the biggest advantage of having and now, now let me just go with um, okay we can go with the train so you guys can see the biggest one of the biggest advantage that we have is the possibility of doing this you see it's always parallel which is awesome you see if I was if I was to uh, kind of um, simulate or try to do the same but without using the parallel road it would never be as perfect as this is so yeah okay guys so that's it this is definitely a useful mod that allows us to build perfect roads although in real life I understand there are no perfect roads but hey for the layout for building your own cities it's always good to see these kind of parallel roads to look as perfect as possible anyways guys please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you want to I mean it, you, you're not it's not mandatory but it's always good to have some feedback like always please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell if you do so definitely you will be helping out this channel in order to keep or in order for I to keep uh, improving and bringing more useful content and eventually more stuff related to city skylines um, also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and once again thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys soon cheers